Gentlemen, how are you in all parts of the world? Let's see if we can share this video with our friends. Share, share to a friend, share to a friend, share to a friend, share to a friend, share to a friend. Share, 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 share with a friend, share with a friend, share with a friend. Share as much as you can. Um, let's start by sharing so that everyone who comes in today we discuss about Amasi OS. Today we are talking about those uh, about and uh, make sure that guys you share with your friends. Today we don't want to leave the stones unturned. Um, it's fine. We are going to deal with them. Not physically, but we are going to make sure that these people are known by UK uh, citizens. So, right, let's do this, let's share, let's share, let's share, let's share. Share with your friend as much as you can and um, tell me where you are calling from today, where you are listening from today. Um, don't be afraid to feel free to talk. If you lost money, I've got a sister who lost money. I kept on telling my sister, don't pay the COS. She kept on putting the money. She lost 8000 I've got a sister, somebody in South Africa who lost the 62,000. I've got somebody who lost the 61,000. I've got somebody who lost the 20,000. I've got, I'm going to give you the list of them all today. I'm going to give you the list of them all today. Right. Share, share, share. I'm still sharing. I'm still sharing to those who I think might be interested in this topic. I'm not going to share to everybody. But I will share to those who I know might be interested in this topic. So, share, share, share. Once we get 20, we start talking about our topic today. So, um, it's a pity that we have to go that way. And we are not going to allow our brothers and sisters to be um, treated like this. And as long as um, um, advocate for Zimbabweans in the UK, I'll always do what is right for them. If it means that I become enemy to everybody, like somebody who sent me a message yesterday threatening me to stop what I'm doing, I take it in my chin. So let's see if we can get up to 20. We can start talking. But share with your friends. Today we're talking about the Masio S. We are 13. We are 13. Chris Mwaruwaru, my boy. You lied to me that you are coming to see me, Chris. I'm disappointed with you. Let's see that our sound is clear. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Um, welcome, 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 welcome. Where we are going to be discussing about the COS. Hey. Um, okay, I have to tell my class for now. How are you, folks? First and foremost, I would love to know where you are watching me from. Secondly, it would be good for you to tell me whether these videos are good to you or to your relatives. It would be, it would be so good to know that. Um, I'm going to use my vernacular oral. But I'll try by all means to use my broken English as well. Nasi tirukutara pamsori pevan varugubila van mari. Zema COS. I had to go and look for a lawyer for Zimbabweans. I paid my money to draft a petition. This is a, a English lawyer, a white lawyer. He drafted me a petition which I have to send the petition to the government of the UK. And the other copy must go to the Zimbabwe embassy. And the other copy must go um, to Zimbabwe. Um, this is the letter. The government of the United Kingdom and Zimbabwe petition to deport individuals involved in COS fraud. DSA or Madam, we the undersigned are deeply concerned about the rising cases of fraud related to the misuse of certificate of sponsorship, COS, 
in the United Kingdom. It has come to our attention, our, our attention that certain individual, especially a guy by Brian, Dewey and Marvin, who are currently advertising their services on WhatsApp, along with a female individual in Zimbabwe known as Tanya, are actively involved in a sale of fake COS certificates. These fraudulent activities not only compromise the integrity of the United Kingdom immigration system, but also have severe consequences for legitimate, le legitimate, me, legitimate individuals seeking opportunities in the country. We appeal to the government of the United Kingdom and Zimbabwe to collaborate closely in order to combat this significant fraud. Specifically, we use the following actions to be taken thoroughly. Investigation. We request, we request the law enforcement agencies in the United Kingdom and Zimbabwe initiate a, a comprehensive investigation into the activities of Brian Dube, Malvin and Tanya. This investigation should aim to gather some substantial evidence to ensure a fair trial and appropriate punish, punishment for those found guilty. Prosecution and sentencing if Brian Dube and Malvin are found guilty in the United Kingdom, we strongly recommend that they be deported to Zimbabwe to face sentencing in their home country. This will ensure that justice is saved and that they are held accountable for their fraud and actions. Enhance the cooperation. We use, we use both governments to uh, enhance their cooperation in exchanging information, intelligence, and best practice practices to prevent future instances of COS fraud. By establishing... Stop calling me on this, please. I am using this... Uh, use the other phone which I used, please. Sorry. Use the other phone which I used there. I tagged another phone there, please. Please. I tagged another phone. I put a number, another number there. Don't call that number, uh, Mildred. Sorry. Sorry, Mildred. I used another number there. Call the other number. We both... Uh, sorry. Sorry, where was I? By establishing stronger ties and sharing knowledge, we can uh, effectively combat this growing problem and safeguard the integrity of this immigration system. Public awareness. It is crucial to raise awareness among the general uh, public regarding the risk associated with fraudulent COS certificates. Educational companies and public service announcements should be launched to form individuals about the consequences of engaging in such activities as well as to en encourage reporting of suspected fraud. By taking swift and decision action against individuals involved in COS fraud, we can demonstrate a commitment to, to um, uh, a commitment to uh, protecting the integrity of our immigration system and ensure that deserving individuals have fair and equal opportunities to contribute to our societies. We, the undersigned, kindly request your attention to this matter and hope that our concerns will be given. Uh, due to consideration, we firmly uh, believe that uh, through collaboration and decisive action, we can put an end to the activities of those who seek to exploit the COS system for personal gain. Okay? That is a, a, a letter which I, I paid for the lawyer um, to draft, and this letter is now going to the petition. Um, yes, that is a letter which um, uh, I, I paid for a lawyer. I had to pay something like 200 pounds just for this draft to be. Um, so it's going to the uh, British Embassy and it's going to we when um, we want brothers and sisters to co collaborate with us here. Um, 
those people I have mentioned, there's a guy called Marvin. There's a guy called Brian Dewey. Um, today we we found out that Brian Dewey, he claims to have a registered company in Hull. If you go to my last post on Facebook, it is there. Right. I have got some charts here on my phone, which you are going to be phoning on. Right. Let's open. Maybe it's a right idea to pay, to read really to uh, never know we what thing I buy it over than to buy. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I saw your message, uh, Mildred. I, I but I'm doing a live. I'll come back to you. Right. I want you to listen to these audios today. I am not going to mention the name of this lady because she has, ma she has money to say we are going to pay back the money. She has managed to say no. Um, yeah, one second. second. Yeah, yeah. So, that's all. That's all done. Okay. Right. I want you to listen to these audios. Um, listen to this. I want you to listen to this. I um, I've got all the thousands of the uh, monies. Total of 236,000 US dollars taken from Zimbabweans trying to come to the UK. Okay? Um, I just want to give you this, guys. Be patient with me. There are so many. Be patient with me. There are so many. Um, good evening, ladies. Okay. Give me one second. It will be advising cousin. Give me one second. Is there? I want to put them um, right, guys. I don't know whether you can see this. Maria Kwana. It means Imadisikwani. Um, three thousand. I'm showing you this. Probably you might say I am. Um, uh, it's coming from my head. Look at this. Probably you won't see this. Right? Listen to this. Maria Kwana. This guy is in the UK. He's, he's calling someone in Zimbabwe. The guy is in Zimbabwe. He sings, Maria Kwana. Ndo isa papi mari. Can you negotiate please for 2,500? Kuti balance wangu. No, it's 3,000. Okay. Then he sent the pen details. Okay. Next time when you are dealing with people, be professional. I'm sorry to say this, but all COS are now taken. A girl from Bulawayo made a payment yesterday. He's trying to make that guy pay money. You see? Hmm. Aba mzokuru. Achito zo. Zo wana mariese sande kuti. Ikwane kozi. Akambo. Da daira vanabake variku Poland school fees. Then look at this. There is the money now. The money is Yaka Tiko Marie 3000. There. He is say is telling him with Marinda Unga Nita. There is the money there. Marinda got the 3000. You can see I'm putting and um, now. Yes. Maria Kwan. Listen to this. <laughs> Zimbabweans are crooks. You need to get a, a, a you need to get a job. Then you have to be in the system. Isn't it? I pay the guy. I'll provide the system. Just give the money to my auntie. She will deposit the money into my account. Then he keeps on. When are you paying them? Uh, pay, when, when are you making payment? That's what is important right now. They cannot do anything unless you pay. All right. So this guy is called Lazi. Okay. This guy is called Lazi. Um, lives in Sheffield. Anyway, the guy sent me a message. He went on social media to look around for me. He managed to look around for me. Um, he told me the story. 
Then I found the Lazi. I found the Lazi um, yesterday. I sent him a message to Lazi yesterday. I said to Lazi, what are you doing? Can you please make yourself available? I want you to pay back the money to a guy you have just um, singled. Just hold on. Just hold on. Listen to him. Right, I want you to listen to, 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 to that audio again. But I can't see your comments. Nobody's writing comments. I can see your names, but I can't see your comments. Right, listen to him again. Listen to him again. Right now, so this young man this young man um my message is Ake Ose Al. This young man now yesterday he went on he went on to tell this guy in Zimbabwe that to talk to the guy to, to, to remove that post on Facebook. Please tell that guy. The guy he's talking about is me. Why is this guy coming, getting involved? Why can't you? You don't need a bond, don't need a visa. Let me tell you something, Zimbabweans. I want this guy brought to justice in the UK. I have shared his uh, image on social media. I want, I know the, 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 the mother's name. I know the father's name. I know where he comes from, this guy. So, I want the mother to be arrested. And the father to be arrested. That will put pressure for this young man to pay the money back. I want the mother and the father arrested, picked up by the police in Zimbabwe. That's why he's going to see how serious this issue is. Right. Now, there is a lady. I'm not going to mention her name today because she agreed that they will pay back 61,000 rands in South Africa. I'm not going to mention her name. She made an agreement that, Philip, please, let me tell you something. If this is not careful, I'll find out where she is. I'll find out the day she came to the UK. I'll find out where, when she arrived in the UK, where she lived in the UK, where she is right now. And I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that she'll be picked like that. She'll be picked like that in the UK. She cannot run away. She, not, she cannot claim asylum in the UK. Because we know her case. I've got a lawyer who can actually get paid by the government to get this lady out. But the good part is she's cooperating. She phoned me today. We spoke. We managed to get the guys in South Africa. They are saying, please. Let me see if I've got some audios. Just hold on. Let me see if I've got some audios. Caroline was one to mail in. He contacted Caroline. Yeah. So, yes, we're with 
change uh, he, he calculated out to put his 61,000 mm. and 18 and I said he used 61,000 and 20 so I said but uh, within two days he's over here so two days he appeared uh, five days he man goes we are maybe he's got 15 days 15 December one December man but 15 December I don't have to man some back on that about several value so since then you have his story after story story after story was our harm by him hey okay yes they are not sisters. What? So I think whose relationship we are in Caroline? Because I uh, one tata, one I'm some Caroline, and then we met at Christ and Caroline. Yeah, but what you know, she's a she's a, a, a an old time friend. If you some regard her as a sister. Okay. Yeah. So, Masala gave you a salad of Caroline and what is a year UK, what in Jinamba, hung at Colum Toll. Yeah. So, Masala no Caroline, look at Buzamati Becky, Caroline went Zalala and at a big and yell pig. Yeah, what? My vigil at this gift until Wednesday. Wednesday, you pay Friday, Friday, Mondays, in Yang, you pay the blue color winjal. What did you mean, Malia, for nine years? I open my voice not our sender. Uh, from a guy, guy who is out to say UK. So we take him and we phone him. We are talking. 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 We are so my it ya continue with the Zalbo Pisa we are cut a phone. With JP my imbuza na my I bamba and I bamba a little lap. But you are was with Banga. We are Babo Pisa, we are was with Banga. Mina okay, okay, Caroline, we are was your first what to tell I telephone and now see you in the idea for now to have a sequel. Who JP stand was with Tushalanga, Naha, Bahayo Kuma, and I who has never as well as you two. So that I can have a boy, Vele, Aga, 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 the best thing is a low gas loophole up. Low numbers as criminal. Utia Kona, Uza Samotali Tint. But low, you will so since then, but look at here, Pele Vigi, we have a battle. I want to buy some battle. So we Pele another three months looking to enjoy. You come by the battle, you feel? I there are working on a company, but they say I want to have a battle. Babo peace, babo, babo, babo peace with JP and my police. Who can decide? Who can decide? And we what? And I know I want to have a very serious conversation. I want to have a very serious conversation. I'm going to be coming here because it's your yes. I but for the police. Yes. What do you know about the one of the course? Okay, one of the course, but that I am a refunia is yes. Okay. Yes. But the witch is in the Zang is handled according to what you made as a hand in Janiabo. So much in such a because I'm trying to get him at the Akevant in a Pasa will be mad and it also made him in a Yeah, first and foremost, you 
you, the way you have, I mean, the way you have just spoke, that is a sign of what you gonna. You can see go funa you can knock. What you know? In those kamba, what the image is funu what the pattern. I go to the local. Ah, in those kamba. Oh, funu wenza. Oh, oh, funu wenza. Oh, pururu ako. Oh, pururu ako lo anga isinti oku shala si amti ponti se UK. Ah, you imadi oba pata oba pata la gimo na bukosi. So me na ifanza di imadi aku buti ni pata. Bangi mukwe lusi na bukosi buti zato zambuti edisi inkole aku ni pata. Thank you so much. You intercede for now. Mobile, yeah, mobile law and so on. Good data, a data immigration. We are really kaya and the really kaya being bopper straight and the rabbit said, Look, all young business is bopper straight. I mean, I walk at that again, no, because when I mentioned thing, you might have to be looking at me. Imagine is going to be a serious case. I think you, you are now following me on Facebook. You will see what I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've got no further anything. You are going to try by all means. Or make it problem is that I want to add the phone to the phone. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much. Make arrangements. Oh, I got Tessie Kessigan over courses as I cook a whole fire. See if I get played in. The part I remember, I saw no book as yet of Lomio Tongue, more precious. I don't actually need them. I don't need them. I want I want this case solved. Um I have got a life as a yenza nam change a involver a yen a losses or tongue no no I want to love the must be accepted. It's so bad for other people. But the Kuruma alone, of course, but the animal is about. Yeah. Any update, you just let me know. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Arrange arrangement. You will arrange arrangements with the party animal is about. What are we will? Okay, Yes, yeah. I mean, I enjoy. I miss why. I enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, for look for they will pay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Of course. All right. Don't forget the advice. All right. Thank you. Bye. Right. Um. This one, this one, this latest one, um, I managed to look for the person, one of them came to the UK, I'm not going to disclose her name, because she responded very well. I managed to get hold of the one or Padalo in South Africa, because baby Porcelain in Yoga, wanga she can get on in Yoga menu. But they all agreed that they will pay that money. Two sets of 61,000. One is 61,000. One is 62,000 rands. So they are saying they will pay that. If they don't pay that. I've managed to talk to the government of Zim. 
to get me some five armor police or which to go to South Africa and get hold of these people who are using armor COS. And let me tell you something. If anyone thinks that you can get away with this thinking that you can buy police in South Africa, you are playing with fire with me. If you pay 60,000 rands to a police officer, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay 100,000 rands. If you pay 40,000, I'll pay 50,000. And I want these people, I want that money paid back. I give them option. Pay that money, make an agreement. So this one, I don't want to lie to you. They responded well to pay back the money to Nobukosi Swanda and uh, Precious. But she said, please do me a favor. I will try and pay in half half. But listen to this. But if she keep on prolonging and prolonging, we'll put the pressure on this one who is in the UK. We'll put the pressure on this one in the UK. I'll ask the UK government to get involved for this one in the UK. And I'll make sure. So, for today, let's just give that one a benefit of a doubt. Let's go back to a guy called Malvin. Unfortunately, I don't know the surname of this guy called Malvin. Because the picture I have for Malvin, I don't know whether it's a legitimate picture. He might have used somebody's picture. But Brian... Go to my last post right now as I speak. Facebook. He has got a company name under How. In How. His name is Brian Dewey. Zimbabweans in the UK. Do me a favor. Let's get hold of this guy. I'll give you a, a reward for this guy to be brought to, to justice. If you know this guy, inbox me. Tag me. We have got a vehicle to go and pick this guy and send him back to the immigration center. To, according to his company, he has got a British citizen. They have got to revoke this um, the, his, his citizen. He's doing money laundering. So, if you know Brian, please, I beg you, be man, man enough to come up. Approach us. Brian, when you are listening, hand yourself somewhere or make sure that you pay people money. Come out clean. You won't do anything. You are a small boy. You won't do anything. You are a small boy. Zimbabweans will get you. You cannot live a high life of buying cars and houses through People's monies. You cannot do that. Marvin. We managed. To find where Marvin is. Apparently Marvin. Resided. In Milton Keys. They managed. To get hold. Of the cousin of Marvin. What happened was. I got people who told me about this. What happened was Marvin made a deal with someone. They arranged to go and meet at a KFC. When it was in Milton Keys, I don't know. So Marvin, he sent his young cousin to go and collect the money at that KFC. But Malvin, Akanyuma, something told him that no, I mustn't go. Then he sent a young cousin to go and collect the money. When the young man come, came, they hold the young man. And then he said, I'm saying it's not me, it's Malvin. They took the young man to the house where the mother lives. So they know where Malvin lives. There are two options. The only problem is the UK won't accept 
arresting the mother because Malvin is the one who is involved in this case. But it's different from in Zimbabwe, whereby I can get police to arrest the mother of that young boy. So Malvin, according to what I heard, is in the Milton Keys area. If you get hold of this young Malvin, get in touch. I sent a message to Malvin. I pretended as if I wanted to buy a sea horses for my sister. He responded like that. He told me all the prizes. I created a WhatsApp group for people who are trying to come to the UK. A WhatsApp group which has got 290 something people. Marvin, his name appears almost in a daily basis. But we don't know whether he's using the right picture. So please, if you know this guy called Marvin, let's work hand in hand with Zimbabweans. Zimbabwe's British government give us opportunities for our brothers and sisters to come and work in the UK. But we are not taking that advantage. We are allowing ourselves to destroy that opportunity because of people like Malvin. Are you one of those people who doesn't want your relative to come and work in the UK because someone is spoiling everything for you? So if you know where Malvin is, if you have heard about Malvin, if you work with Malvin, report him. Malvin must be brought to justice. Malvin must be brought to justice. The UK law doesn't tolerate nonsense. Marvin must be brought to justice as soon as possible. Brian Tobey must be brought to justice as soon as possible. Zimbabweans, wake up. Thank you so much, Senor. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you. We cannot allow. I have got people in South Africa. Very, very, very prominent people who I can send to go and get hold of anybody who is in collaboration with the UK somebody. You can be got you can be brought like this. So guys, we, we are at war. Let me tell you, Zimbabweans. I told you in last video, stop paying for this COS. Stop paying for COS. I am telling you, I live in the UK. I've been in this country for over 25 years. Stop paying for COS. Apply for COS. And I'll tell you this. Stop paying for COS. If someone comes to you and say, I offer COS, tell them I don't want it. Share, share what I'm telling you right now. If someone says I offer COS, give them my details. I'll drive anywhere in the UK to go and see that person. Let me tell you what happens in the UK. When you deposit money in the bank, listen to what I'm telling you. When you deposit money to my account, through what dot deals or whatever, you cannot go to the bank to ask for the bank details of that person because the bank won't give you the details of that person. They won't. Unless if you involve the police. So once you deposit money in someone's bank in the UK, you have lost the money. So, I want to tell you this today. Stop paying for COS. D, do your COS Keep your COS certificates and keep on applying. The more every Zimbabwean stop doing this, the COS genuine ones will come. Expose these people. Look at this. I have a group. Just look at this. I, I like to do everything with the reference. Just hold on. 
Just hold on. My group for these people who are helping me, I've got a group of 264 people. 264 people who are helping me. So, I am not stupid. I will never be stupid. I will never allow a Zimbabwean to take advantage of another Zimbabwean. I advocate for Zimbabweans in the UK. I will never tolerate that nonsense. So, if you know anyone who took somebody's money, don't hesitate to talk to me. I brought this topic a few weeks ago. A day, I get over a thousand calls and messages on my phone. A day. People giving me about the money they have lost. A thousand. If I go over the group now, I don't want you to see the names of people on the group. That's why I won't show you this. But if I go over the group, Um, I can't play this um all long, honest enough. Um, one second. Just hold, hold on. I just want to show you, my brothers and sisters. Um, I can show you um pictures and pictures of people. Um, um, of of people here, but. Um, well, I'm a victim of uh, a survivor from human trafficking. I was swinging uh, six in U in USA in, in what appears to be a well um, a concentrated crime uh, syndicate syndicate involving government officials, possible by US uh, officials. Look at this! Um, oh my goodness, officials too. You see, when I tell people, 
when I tell people, then people think that I'm lying. Um, I'm trying to look for some other audios here. One second. What's Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. My brother, Philip. Do, those people were saying you mustn't put the picture. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I don't, want to, I don't want to play this one. One second. My brother, just continue to watch this. One right. second. Um... These are the people who are giving me um, courage. Because, oh, yesterday, the senior and other people, yesterday I got a call, um, a message from somebody who claims to be a lawyer telling me not to do what I'm doing. He said, I'm not, I, I'm not, it's, right, it's not right what I'm doing. I shouldn't be doing that. He said, these guys are helping people. Um, he was against what I'm doing. You see, uh, somebody sent a message here. Um, eish, what a long message. Um, what a long message. Let me read that message. Fellow Zimbabweans, we are seeking your help in the pursuit of a thief and his fraudulent family who are destroying people's lives with the ignoring most of her. The name in the question, Vincent. Right. Um, guys, let me give you a number to call. A WhatsApp number. I know a lot of people, you might be dying to call. Call that number. It's a WhatsApp. Call that number there. I've just pinned that number there. Call... How do I pin that number? Um, let's see if I can pin the number. It doesn't give me the option of pinning the number. I put that number there for those who want to call and tell and talk to me. And um, there's a number there. It's a WhatsApp call. Call that number and tell and tell us. Um, yesterday I, I, I got a phone call from somebody. Um, came in to be a lawyer, Zimbabwean lawyer in the UK. Uh, he said I mustn't be doing what I'm doing because. And um, these people are helping other people, but uh, you know we must expect that when you do such things, you also, you know, I don't listen to that nonsense. I don't. I don't listen to that nonsense. I have got a better lawyer. I have got a better lawyer. Whereby if he goes to court and my lawyer goes to court, I don't think he can win anything. So I'm not. I'm not interested into that. You know, he, he, he was against uh, what I'm doing. He says I mustn't be doing that. So there is a number to call there, guys. My advice to my brothers and sisters is, don't buy this COS. Don't. Please, keep your money. Keep your money as much as you can. Don't buy this COS. We are going to try by all means. I know out there we have got genuine people. I know out there you'll get someone who is going to give me a genuine COS. 500. Then you apply. You do your things. Don't buy a COS. And uh, I want to be honest with you. I have got um, three complaints from the employers. But today I don't want to talk about them. We are going to come back and talk about them. They are three employers. But no employer, they must see what A lady, I know what I post every time. I know what I post every day. Every day on a daily basis. She beats my sevens in Zimbabwe and Zagawa in UK on a daily basis. I am coming to get you. I am coming to get you. My dear sister, I am coming to get you. I have got everything, including videos, when you smacked a, 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 a Yoweka. She was four days from Zimbabwe. You, 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 you smacked her on the face. And then you pretended. So, I am coming for you. But today, I'm not into that. I want your company closed. I want you to lose that COS. I want to tell you this now. I'm a man of God. You cannot do that. Unorawa munu. Because it will not happen as long as I'm a living in this in this world. Wagaroba moon mushandi. Because I gotta wanna see your company. Ugamuroba. Then ugawana uchema. Then you pretend it. I have got a video. I told you to buy a camera just for that. You didn't know that she was wearing a camera in her clothes. I'm going to get you. You are going, you are going to you I will take you to court. You are going to pay something like 50000 to that lady. So today I'm not into that. Today I want to deal with those people who are calling people. 
You can't do that. We are not. UK is not in Africa. Why you can get away with murder? Ask anyone who lives in the UK. Ask anyone who lives in America. Ask anyone who lives in Europe. Ask anyone who lives in Australia. You don't do that. I don't want to lie to you, my brothers and sisters. I'm not scaring you. When you come to the UK through this COS, you will have a good time, some of you, but some of you will have a rough area. Expect a rough time. For the next two years, three years. Because your boss, some of your bosses are evil and cruel. Working for a Zimbabwean is an insult in other places. I am sorry to say that. Not all of them. Working for a, a, a Zimbabwean sometimes can be a cruel thing in the UK. I have never worked for a Zimbabwean in my life. I only went for 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 a, a Zimbabwean party umkio in my life. A, 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 I mean, when I was growing up, very cruel. You can't hit somebody because you are, you know, somebody wants a, a reference. Somebody wants to leave. Someone wants to go and and start somewhere else. You lied to somebody. You said you are going to give somebody forty hours, but now you are not giving those forty hours. Somebody is going five six days without work. She says to you, please, you are refusing reference. Why are you doing that? Why do you do that? You must be ashamed of yourself. Pathetic. Disgrace. Shame on you. I can call you by name right now, but I won't do that. I'll protect your name. You're evil. You are an evil creature. Evil creature. How can you beat someone? In the in, in the UK, kuwa muno ne ne pa manage pagera muno kazi chuo muno kazi kubas. And your husband is sitting there watching. And even the husband, you are a disgrace, allowing your wife to do that. Pathetic and shampoo. I wish Zimbabweans were not being about to go rob a chair or office work. But I don't encourage violence. So we have done a petition here. The petition is here. It was written by a lawyer, professional lawyer. He gave me this to go and revise it and then come back. Then we do a petition. I read the petition here. Subject to deport individuals using. There is this. There. 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 There is a petition. There. There. There is a petition. Subject. Petition to deport individual using COS fraudulent activities and seek collaborative action between the governments of UK and the government of Zimbabwe. One is going to the government of United Kingdom, 10 Downing Street. You can see there. Read it there yourself. You might think that I'm lying. Read it yourself there. There. I'm sending that to Downing Street. Myself, I am sending that. There. Okay. So this one is going to 10 Downing Street, London. And then the other one is going to the government of Zimbabwe. Monomutapa building. Samora Machel. Harare, Zimbabwe. It's going. And then the other petition will be signed by every Zimbabweans in the UK. For Malvin and uh, what's his name to be deported? Malvin and um, and um, I don't know his surname and Brian Dube to be deported. They will be deported. They will be deported. I am 100% they will be. Or they will go to prison. But they will, 
Uh, one of them definitely will be uh, deported. Because the British status says you can't do that. I don't know whether I'm wrong, but the lawyer told me that they might be arrested and then sent back to Zimbabwe. I don't know. Whether they'll be arrested and released, I don't know. But we need justice for these people. Whether they'll be deported, I don't know. But my idea is the petition must be signed by Zimbabweans. If we get a certain number of, uh, of, uh, of signatures, we are fine. Right. Anyone who wants to give us a call, let me put that number again. Let me write that number down. Uh, it's a WhatsApp call. It's a WhatsApp call. There you are. Um, it's a WhatsApp call. Call that number if you want to tell us anything or you want to talk to us. Then we finish. Um, we finish. I've got another um, space uh, I'll be hosting this afternoon um, um, with uh, Uncle Jet. So, if you have got something you want to tell us uh, while I'm checking some other messages. Um, one second. Good morning, my comrades. This issue of COS is a very critical issue and a critical matter. But uh, comrades, let's be true to ourselves. Listen to this one. Good morning, my comrades. This issue of COS is a very critical issue and a critical matter. But uh, comrades, let's be true to ourselves. Especially Tina, people from Zimbabwe. We are so afraid of things that we don't know. Here's the reason why we are duped across the board. If a person steals my money, me, I do not care whether the UK is going to give me 10, 10 year ban or deport me from the UK. I don't care. I will go for that person. Zimbabwe is my house. I will go and stay in my house. Zimbabwe is my home. Why would a person come and steal money? Then I am quiet about it. Just thinking of what is the home office going to do. This is none of my business. Don't take my money. We'll go back together home if we're in the UK. If you, you are, I am here in Zimbabwe, I get a 10 year ban of not going to UK. So be it. Don't touch my money. Don't steal my money just because people want to use this reverse psychology of saying that what is going to happen if you do this and what is the UK government going to do. That is feeding these guys to steal money, more money. They are feeding. Because they know these guys that we are afraid of going and reporting these issues. Because we are also afraid of what is going to happen to us as well. We are so much afraid. We are a nation that is full of fear. We always fear. Everything is all about fear. The guy who is... Bro, Philip, you are doing a great job. You are doing a great, great job. I salute you in the very few people like you, my brother. Thank you very much and keep on doing it. You know, fighting for people, it's a, it's a calling. Standing for the rights of people, it's a calling. There are certain people who does not want to stand for their rights or who are afraid. Just hold on, hold on, guys. Their rights or who are afraid of standing for their own rights. Especially Zimbabweans. 263 community is full of fear. You know, I was shocked to see that there's a guy who went away with 90,000 pounds. You know, 90,000 pounds. That's how much is it I am best in South Africa if you go to 100,000 pounds? That's, that's how much is it in terms of runs? We are talking of millions of runs. That a person is just mech without a sweat by duping people. A person goes and sweat in Zimbabwe. I've, I've been in Zimbabwe and I saw how difficult it is to gather money and you put it together. And you're looking for greener pastures. And you have duped 10,000, 6,000, 7,000 US. And you take it lightly. You just cry, cry, cry. That is good to cry. But there must be an action after crying. There must be an action, comrade. We need to act. We cannot only cry without actions. It is pointless, comrades. Here's the reason why these things keep on repeating themselves. Why? Because why we cry, we don't act. When a mistake is done twice, no longer a mistake, it's a habit. 
We are creating habits. These people understand. You know, when he does it for one person, and there's nothing happens to him, and he does it for the second person, there's nothing happens. Even if I am, it is I. I can, if I see that there's no consequences, there's nothing that is happening, I'll continue doing it because it's money. We need to stop these, 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 these people, these mongers, these suckers. We need to stop them. We need to stop collectively. As in people, 263 must stand up. These people, we need to stand up for money. For money and fight for money. I don't care who's going to deport. I don't care who's going to say the UK is going to say, go back home and start my business in my home. We got to stand and tell these thuggers that we are not people that should be thugged or be doomed or be whatever. We stand together and fight for the rights of those people that are sweated to get that much money. And somebody just dwindle and squindle that money in a twinkle of an eye is now eating it. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this is what is happening. Um, I gave you the chance to call. So it means from here, nobody lost the money. It's only my brother, Signoro, and um, my sister. But some of you know. But I know that I'll be getting messages in the next few minutes. Can you please try to help, help me to recover my money? If I realize that you were here and you are quiet, about bringing your issue. I won't even attempt to. Because I've realized. That some people they don't want to come and contribute. This thing is yours. I've never lost money to anybody myself. But I feel sorry for you. So if you are one of the victims. You are free not to mention the name. But tell us what happened. So that we have got a case. With weight. But I, I, I think no one lost money from this uh, platform at the moment. So ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to tell you this. Malvin, Brian Dube, get ready. Get ready. We are going to get you. It's very impossible it's anathema and taboo for me to go for more than a month without getting you. Because I will get you. I'll definitely get you. I have a guy who works, at, a very good friend of mine who works at the immigration. That person will find you. If you register to vote, Marvin, and Brian, in the UK, I'll get you. If you are work, if you are using your name in one of the banks, I'll find a Zimbabwean works in the bank. I'll get you. If you are driving a car, Brian and Marvin, if one of you, one of the guys knows your your car vehicle, I'll get you. I will definitely get you. And I will embarrass you. And when I come and see you, I won't come on my own. I will come with a lot of Zimbabweans to your house. And you'll be ashamed. So, get in touch with me like the other ladies who did. Get in touch with me. Make yourself available. Make arrangements how you can pay the monies back. It's all easy to come and say to people, no guys, to be honest enough, I was trying something, but I failed. I am prepared to pay a little bit, like that lady. So, thank you guys. I don't want to spend the whole day here. I just want to tell you that so far, the list is Malvin, Brian Dube. There's a young man called Chinembiri. You saw the video, the young man um, about Chinembiri. Um, he lives in, um, in Milton Keys. 
the, this young man now from um, Sheffield. Uh, this one is not a problem. We'll get him any time, this one. Um, the one you heard the audio um, when he was saying, deal with me. That one is not a problem. I can get... He's a, he was born 1983. He's a, he's a small boy, that one. I can, I can get him any time, that one. He's a small boy. That one. Um, so, what is that? Anyone wants... He has got a question. Anyone wants to tell me something before I go? Signoro, thank you very much. Um, I, I'm going to revise your, you know, I'm, I'm going to read your comments as much. You know, Signoro, I didn't know. Oh, that's a lot of money you lost, my brother. That's a lot. So that is that. Um, I don't have anything to say unless if anyone wants to say something. But the, the point was today, we're talking about Malvin and Brian, Brian Tube. And um, Brian Tube, the address is saying he was in Hull. Go on my Facebook, you will see his address, a business address. I don't know whether it's a fake. They always use fake address. So if you know a guy called um, Brian Tube in the UK, there are so many Brian Tubes. But in the areas of Hull or anything, let us know. Malvin, Milton Keys, let us know. Um, we need to get rid of these people. We need to hold them. We need to sign a petition. So if the petition comes to you guys, sign that petition. And those guys must be brought to justice. Those guys must be brought to justice. We can't allow this. Then my COS bosses, I mean, my, my K, K homes, um, Baruguro, my Zimbabweans, who are abusing Zimbabweans. Your, your life is coming. Your life is coming. Especially you, Sister Margaret. What you did to that lady, be careful, be warned, be warned. The other thing I wanted to add on top of that before I finish. You need to join a union. Those who are already in the UK. Join a union, pay for the union. Um, pay the pension scheme as well. Standard life is very good for you. Standard life. Go online and look for a standard life insurance. No, not insurance. Yeah, a pension scheme. You pay as little as you can. It's very good. Because you don't know about your tomorrow. Um, I've been contributing with standard life for a long, long time. The time I will retire, I'll be happy. So standard life is good for you try and contribute join those things but the most important one is union join the union is very good for you for those who are who have just come to the uk but my advice don't buy any cos from today stop it immediately stop it if you want just keep on applying there are so many there are so many so many free ones you know don't pay don't pay these huge monies don't don't. I think that's it for today, guys. I don't want to... You see, if you see me repeating myself, it means I've got nothing to add on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for those who are on Twitter, and my brother Signore is on Twitter, on Space. I did our last um, live about this COS. We spoke about this. Then there's a lady on, there are two ladies on Twitter. They went to do a Twitter with a guy called Padare. A massive Twitter, three o'clock in the morning. Um, one is called Ruramai. One is called Princess. They were discussing, they were talking about. I mean, at the audio, I mean, somebody recorded the Twitter e recordings and they sent me. Uh, Padar, I didn't hear Padar talking about me. I want to be clear. I want to be honest with this. I didn't hear Padar talking. But there were, there was a lady called Ruramai and a princess. She called herself Princess Bella. They were slatting me. They were giving me hard time. Who is this guy called Freelance talking about COS? The guy is a D. The guy is the guy, they actually, she actually said, she actually said,
inini di urwala ni chirwele chakati a massive a a chirwele she actually said because i'm talking about this cos i hate the guy i hate the guy talking about me it was three three o'clock in the morning who does he think he is then somebody says yeah he thinks he knows he has got a radio station he does this he does this the guy is the guy is if i send you the audio you'll be shocked why am i talking about the cos the girl is called Ruramai. they live in the uk the other one is called princess bella they live in the uk they gave me a hard time massive time about why am i talking about this cos i don't know maybe they are benefiting because this one called princess i think there's some way somehow she's benefiting because she was always against this cos thing when i talk about them she says oh people come back to you and what, what, what. but tell you what guys i advocate for zimbabweans and i will never allow nonsense i don't look at pregnant pigs like them two girls sorry for the language accept my apology i felt offended with them ladies the way they spoke you want to see someone losing ten thousand us dollars because you're benefiting it will not work and it will never work i stopped following them i don't follow people like that cruel people like that i don't follow someone who has never achieved anything in life not even to donate a teaspoon at a hospital i don't look at people like that they are nothing they have got they don't know life at all when i compare myself with people like that i laugh my lungs out I'm a director of this charity. I'm a director of this charity there. This one there. I put that one away. I'm a director of this charity. There. So, for someone who has never donated a teaspoon to any school or where you come from to come and slap me for, for talking about Zimbabwe is being raped anywhere in the world to to oppose what I do. I find insulting Malicious dangerous And those people those are the people who can actually try to kill me They are dangerous Very very dangerous I want to say this eloquently because I'm protecting Zimbabweans. I'm advocating for Zimbabweans. Someone calls me, I wish him dead. That's what they were saying. To a point. But. Accept my apology if someone felt offended by the language I used. It's my right to apologize because some of the things I have said here might offend a lot of people. I'm a human being. I'm a broadcaster. I'm a journalist. I have to say sorry if I offended someone. So, let me not dwell there. But I thought of bringing that. That it's not everybody who is happy with the job I am doing. If I, people had to come to my house today and attack me, some people will be celebrating and clapping hands that I'm being attacked. But I know that some people will come and defend me because I'm trying to help Zimbabweans. I don't look for support. I don't need any distinction of this. But there are people out there who are wishing me dead because I'm saying stop raping people money. Sometimes I cry when I talk about those, these things. 
Come to the UK, guys, those who are in Africa, and see how your brothers and sisters are being treated in Nenya MACOS. I see the Mbaga Karam Park. What are they doing in the Ego Park? Do you know what they are doing in park? Banu and Agubas. Banu and Agubas. Start to wake at 7 o'clock in the morning. Doesn't get paid. Achibuda Mumbai Pub. She walks another 5 kilometers or 7 kilometers to go into another house. 30, say, 30, say, 30 minutes. She comes out. She walks another 10 kilometers to go into another house. Then she wait for 3 o'clock to go into another house. She cannot go back home. She lives in Ecruz. She works in Withinshaw. She doesn't have the bus fare to go home and come back. She goes and sits at, at, at a park during the day. She breaks at 11 o'clock. She doesn't get paid for that time she's sitting at the park until 3 o'clock. She finishes it at 8 o'clock. She jumps on a bus. The bus takes two hours to get home. She arrives at 10 o'clock in the evening. She doesn't cook. She goes to bed without eating anything. She wakes up in the morning, 6 o'clock, because she starts to work at 8 o'clock in Winningshaw cell. She does the same thing for seven days. Come pay day. She doesn't get paid. The hours you are supposed to be get paid. Instead of getting 1,600, she gets 700 pounds. She wants to send money to their family. The husband is in Zimbabwe. The boss, husband, she look, the boss husband looks at all of them and look, oh, that one is nice. Start texting. Do you fancy to go out? Taking advantage. You do what you want to somebody because she's desperate. We all have the whole information of this. We have the whole information of this. Then she applies somewhere. Can I have a, a reference please? I just want to... What do you want the reference for? I'm not giving you a reference. I'll get you deported. Once you say that, she gives you two days to get out of the house because they supply them with uh, temporal houses. You are given two days to get out of the house. Look for a house. Where did you adopt that from? I have got the whole information of the ill treatment which is done by these bosses. Not all of them. 
In London, they've got some shifts. But in the Northwest, nothing. Sorry. Nothing at all. Northwest, nothing at all. Ladies and gentlemen, we are watching. We are not stupid. We are watching. We are not stupid. We see what is happening. But one day, tables will turn around. You are making, you are buying houses. And you are making money out of these people who are coming to work for you. But you are not looking after them. I know a boss has got three houses, two Range Rovers. It's fine. But I am telling you one day, tables will turn around. Listen to this video and do the right thing before it's too late. One second. Somebody send me a message. One second. So, I want to tell you this now. We have got a lot, a lot which we need to do for our brothers and sisters. Um, I wish I can, I don't know what I can do. Mr. Swanda, you have sent me a message again, you are saying, I want to tell you this now. If you have got a problem, call me now. Call me now, or else I'll block you for good, you never talk to me. I want to say this to you now. Um, just hold on, guys. I need to just hold on here. What a uh, phone there. Just hold on here. Oh, so there's a missed call here. Just one second. Hold on. Just hold on, guys. Hello. Hello. Yeah, boy. Okay. Okay. Kuluma, mom. Yes. Kuluma, mom. No. Kuluma, mom, and Oh, okay, bring it in. it in. Oh, yeah, 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 Messenger, in phone and eating in for Okay. 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 Um in number yake in number yake in number yake UK you lie. I ngi lie in number yake UK. Um tina stress kuluma la yesa phone la ye messenger namhlanje. Ni khuluma nge ni mfonela ye Facebook. Wea ngizwa. Yeah, you for the Facebook party. Um, um, when I was you, I'm a lean. Uh, yeah, I could not 
Oh, okay, okay. We can we can go. We can we can go. Kulu Malawi. Yes. I know. No, it's okay. Yeah, I know it's fine. I think it's a Kulu Masibi. No, I think we get the benefit of a doubt. Okay. Simbo no guti kona em guzo hamba ganja na loga shupi because loga shupi lo loga shupi em aspo no guti guzo hamba ganja ni simni ge benefit of a doubt lo. Okay. All right, so I'm anya guzo em don't worry lo lo aspo no guti guzo hamba ganja ni kazi lam. Alright, yeah. Okay, sisi. Okay. Um, one second. Okay. Just um, nifu no guti. Just hold on, guys. I want you guys to know that sometimes my life can be in danger. One second. One second. Who called on to my message? What a good day, buddy. Just one second. Tembani uh, swan. Just hold on. Tembani phone here ring. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Tembani unjan. Unjan. Nia pila unjan. Nia pila. Kuma no Philip. Ukuma la yega ni sibilu we 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 nta we ma we 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 Alright, alright. I'm so in the magic put us. story sab. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so cool. 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 I'm with this listen to this i'm not going to mention a name hello sivan unga kambi amanga uti i try to silence you and the basic okla nyiku bonisa lami and you bonisa con not that i want to silence you and the lapa okay mbamanga alushaza choko tau there is a difference between ugu bonisa and ugu silence and i spoke now I'm thinking we are bonisega and you have seen why i want to beti our bonisega now i can attest Anyway, sorry for engaging with you before, and we stay clear and not engage now. Mao see bala among and what kind of journalism is that? Where did I silence you, Ben Gubonis? Right. When someone can I ask the Zimbabweans here? When thousands of Zimbabweans are losing money through people, there is evidence that somebody is swingling somebody. Somebody here with everything, text and, and, and images of that person We go and put that on social media And say this is the person Then one person out of people don't, uh, Says you shouldn't be doing that Don't you think he's silencing me? I now don't trust you, Swamp I don't trust you anymore Because I was I was I was Assume that you would maybe why do you keep on saying I mustn't put one? I didn't put a, a young boy his image on the on 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 Facebook, right? If I had put someone who was under eighteen, I would understand. But you are saying I mustn't post these people on social media. I don't understand why you're saying that. But let me tell you something. I want the Bobbins to know in the UK. That my life might be in danger with such with such messages, because when I think you can be the one, you as you say you are a lawyer, you should have come and say, but this one, this is the best way of doing. But I will never say we are Jamina. I won't say that. I will let the audience say what they say. I will let the audience say what they think about your message. I am not going to, uh, the, the, to put the message you posted yesterday. Because I'm too professional. But I find... You said you were called to call me yesterday. You didn't call me. You said you were coming from court. You said you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are going to court. But... Tell you what. I will put my life to every Zimbabwe in the UK. To protect me. I want to tell you this now. I don't trust you anymore with the way you are saying now. But let me tell you something. I may hard not to crack. I may very, very hard not to crack. 
when it comes to myself. If it's game on, it's game on. I find very, 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 very intimidating I won't stop. I've been to worse things. So, that's what I want to say. I'll put all the text messages to Mr. Asulum, my lawyer, for anything, just in case. I'll just Tomorrow, I'll just show you my messages and your number just to put myself in a safer place. I will do that. And I've, I'm saying this in public so that people know. So that's where I end. Let's continue. So guys, I think um, I've been here for a long time. Um, let's see let me just see if I can see some more messages okay um, okay I don't think I don't think there's anyone wants to um, oh I wanted to show you this is the young man I was telling you about. This is the young man which I posted yesterday. The one who sent that audio that This is the young man. Him. There. That's the young man. There. He's a small boy. He's a very, very small boy. He's a small boy. Look at the monies. Zirush Gioban. Look at that. 57,000 rands. If I tell you guys. Um, there is another fake letter. There. There is another fake letter there. There, I'll read the letter. Um, application reference 6959. Thank you for your interest in the health assistant reference 6959. The office will be in touch for further supporting documents of your application as soon as possible. Please take this opportunity to add us to your email contact list or approved sender list. This ensure you will continue to receive any communication from us. Regards, blah blah blah. And if we look again, um, one second. There is a company for Brian Love. There. That's a company for Brian Love. There. That is a company for Brian Love. There. Um. British country of residence, England. Occupation, entrepreneur. Um, Marty UK Limited. That is a company name. Reference, a company number 09685648. Campus status, active. Correspondence address, unit 18K. Enter Lake Enterprises Park Pageant Way, Hull, England, HU70YQ. Then, um, role director appointed 23 May 2019. You don't know Rodney Dube. What this uh, message came like yesterday. I know. You don't know what the message came like yesterday. If he's engaging with me well. It's fine. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm not as easy as that. Then that is the name there. There. R Brian Tube. Death of Beth. March 1983. Um, company name RXD Limited. One two two triple four one nine. Correspondent address one forty six Queen Elizabeth Drive, Swindon, Wiltshire, Wiltshire, United Kingdom. S N twenty five one X A. That is him. Okay. Let me try and look for others. Ah, there are so many. There are so many. That's that one there. 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 Lazarus. His name is Lazarus. There. That is the boy there. This one. I sent him a message. He's the one who sent that uh, audio to that young man that engaged with me, Philip. His name is Lazarus Makono, the health care assistant. Okay? The company is SM Resources. There. There. Okay. Let me be honest with you. If you're not happy with what I do, if you're not happy with what I do, if you think say that, Brother Philip, is is it allowed to read information in your mind or live? On live? Is it not a crime? Is it a, a crime to read a, a, a criminal activity your mundi or life? Put your, your, your stories correct. Thank you. Um this one we spoke to today. I'm not going to put her images because um we responded very well for today. We'll protect her. We are going to come back. We are going to protect her today. Um, yeah, you can see, guys, um, you can see the comments there. The comments will tell you how we are as Zimbabweans. The comments will tell you how we are as Zimbabweans. So you can judge by the comments. You can judge by your comments. We need to know that whatever we do, there is always one. So, ladies and gentlemen, the petition is going to be signed. Um, I paid for this one to be, you know, it drafted petition. So it's going to be signed now. Then once we sign it, we send it to, um, to the embassy and then we send it to uh, around. Um, Dube, send Kuba to from my keep from my friends. Um, I cannot be a uh, keep on. Um, I don't want to dwell on this. Okay, um, it has been a pleasure uh, following me. I don't want to keep on uh, Lokuzen. If you keep on Lokuzen, I don't need this. We've got a problem coming in box. Okay, if you keep on trying to intimidate me, you will never follow me in any platform. Thank you. Thank you. You are free. To unfollow me. You are free to unfollow me. I have got over a thousand people waiting to on my friend list. So you are free to unfollow me, please. When you have got an issue like this guy, Uswanda, he didn't inbox me, go, 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 what's up? He didn't inbox me, go public. So when I'm going to come and try Uzenza, a Uklev. You are free to leave my platform and don't follow me again. You are welcome. 
I don't need Uchon and Disclose anything to you. When you see me doing things, I'm not blocking you. I'll remove you. I won't block you. I'll just remove you. You won't follow me again. I won't block you. I'll remove you. You have got your problem. Inbox me. I just want to advise you. I'm not going to dwell into that. When you see me doing something, inbox me. This do will inbox me. When I see the answer, okay, mind you, I will make sure which one you won't follow me again. I know I'm nothing to you. You don't benefit anything from me. I will remove you, and you will never, 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 never see anything about me again. Do that. Keep on doing that. When you see me doing something, inbox me. Out of all the people, you are the one who comes in and saying this. Why can't you inbox me and tell me what you... So you think all these people are fools. How do you feel when your brother loses 5,000 pounds? How do you feel when your brother loses 62,000? Right. Okay, thank you. Let me just do that for you. Let me just remove you from this. Thank you. You're off. Bye-bye. I'm just child clip. So you're off from the... Get a... Take him off. Yeah. Take him off. You're off the, the screen. Get off. Go and make yourself some chips. Thank you. From the Go and make yourself some chips eh, somewhere. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for those who managed to come in. So that is the issue, guys. So we are looking for U Brian Dube. We are looking for U, uh, U Malvin. We are looking for this young man. Um, this young man. Um, the one I've just mentioned his name recently. Um, what's his name? The one. I, I, um, what's his name? One second. Says the one confused. This is malice. Oh, we are looking for Lazarus Makono. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This person is now banned from commenting on this stream. Thank you. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you so much, guys. And um, that's what I brought for you. I hope you will help me to... Um, um, anyone who wants to inbox me, use that number, the other one there. Um, let's, let's help um, all the victims about AMA COS. So my last advice to you is don't buy AMA COS. Stay away from this COS. And uh, don't allow anyone to um, to discourage you from applying AMA Genuine. They are there, AMA Genuine. AMA Genuine COS. So don't buy AMA COS. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Have a nice day and God bless you all. Thank you so, so much. I love you. Bye-bye.